Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is Ticino, and I put chocolate raspberry syrup in there. So hopefully it's good. And it's going to be 63 degrees today, but it's raining off and on. So another rainy morning, another rainy day. It's supposed to rain all day. So we'll see how that goes. And I wanted to show you the beautiful eggs I got from my daughter yesterday. Look at those. Look at this. <laughs> I'll bet that hen has a... <laughs> what do they call it? Um, there's a song. An egg-laying song. Something. Something like that. I don't know. But she's got a lot of chickens. Blue-green ones are my favorite. They're really pretty. They're from Easter Eggers. So today, I, I'm going out to breakfast with my son and my mom and his family. And they're taking my mom out for breakfast. So first, we're going to do that. And then this afternoon, uh, my daughter is going to be having dinner with my mom. So that'll be nice for her. So, all right, let's give this a, a taste. Put a little bit of creamer in there. I don't want to put too much since the syrups are sweet. I want to taste it first. So I finished up the French roast, and I'm going to move on to another flavor. All right, let's give this a taste. Cheers. Oh, now that's tasty. It's really good with uh, the chocolate and raspberry syrup and just a little bit of the creamer. So anyway, that's going to be my day today. No working in the garden. It's too wet. Everything is wet because it's been raining off and on for days. But spring flowers or April showers bring May flowers. That's how it goes. So, I hope so. Last year we had a beautiful May, uh, but then June was terrible. It was cold and rainy all June. But, well, I used to say we can't control the weather, but I think they're sure trying to. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go enjoy my Ticino, and then I will meet you at the budget book. Okay, well, I have to get ready and go have breakfast with my mom and my son's family. So I got this shirt. I don't know if it's going to turn out backwards in Mackinac Island. When Tom and I got married, we went there on our honeymoon. That was quite a while ago. But it says, wine a little, you'll feel better. So I've had this shirt for a long time. But I think I'm going to wear that. So, I thought I'd get ready with you guys this morning. So, I'm going to wear this necklace. This was a necklace that I got from um, my grandmother when she passed away, and it's one of my favorites. I like it because it's um, short. So, and I think I'm going to wear these earrings. You have some nice colors in it. So we'll put those on this morning. I could wear some hoops too. I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe the hoops might look better. I don't know. What do you think? I think we'll go with the hoops. So back in the 70s, when it first became fashionable, um, I had my ears double pierced. And I actually, you know, being a little for German foreign baby, <laughs> I had my ears pierced when I was two, which was, uh, when we came here, it was really 
like, oh, that little girl has her ears pierced because you didn't do that back then um, here in America. But yeah, I've had my ears pierced forever. But the second piercing I got back in the 70s when it first started, um, it was really hip to get your ears pierced a second time. So, yeah, I think the hoops will do. So anyway, I'm going to put on just a little makeup. I don't wear foundation. I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels on my face. So I keep it very simple. I have this Ultimate Eye Intense Auto Liner, and it's by LA Girl, and it's like a charcoal color. My eyes kind of go back and forth between gray and green, so that's what I wear. So, and I just line it just a little bit, bring it up, and I had my eyelash, or my eyeliner tattooed on before I got married many years ago, but it's green. I don't know if you can see that, but it's faded. Um, I would do it again. But this time I think I would do black because black sort of fades away to gray eventually. Might look a little, a little harsh in the beginning, but I think after it faded, it would look just fine. So, you know, people say, oh, didn't that hurt? Well, it didn't feel good, but it wasn't horrible. So that I did have done. So I do have a couple tattoos and that's it. But I don't have any body tattoos. So, and then I have this chapstick Hello Bordeaux. I'm going to put some of that on. And sometimes I do wear a little eyeshadow too, but I don't think I'm going to this morning. And then I have this Believe. I don't know, you can't really see that. It's uh, light brown, and this is they sell this this brand at. Um, it's Dollar General, I think. It's one of those dollar stores, and I really like it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my brows. I never used to wear eyebrow makeup at all. I just started putting a little bit on, oh, within the past couple years, because I always had really good eyebrows, but, you know, as you get older, they kind of fade away. So, and I did dye them, but that's starting to fade too. I need to do it again. So there we go. And you want to make sure when you do your eyebrows, you don't do them going down. Now mine are naturally starting to go that way because of course as I age, my face is falling off but so anyway um, that's all I do for the makeup now I got to do something with my hair and tomorrow it's wash day so but in the meantime I'm just gonna fluff it up a little bit and give it a little spray Sorry, all my stuff is put away. Just give it a little spray. Okay. Now 
Now this is a real hard hold hairspray. And this is the same spray I put on right after I wash my hair when it's still wet. And it really keeps my hair until the next washing. And this is a Ion finishing. So, um, and that I got at Sally's. So, all right, good, bad, or ugly. <laughs> this is me. I used to put more makeup on. I put on, I could use a little blush, but now well, let's see. I don't even know where it is. I think it's in here. That's how often I don't wear it. Well, this is Aziza, and it's two different colors. It's, oh, it doesn't really say, and I've had it forever. So I just take the two colors and kind of blend them together. And it's very subtle. Oops. Yeah, could use a little here. Maybe a little there. And really, this doesn't give me a whole lot of color. So, okay, that's it. I gotta go. I, um, my, um, the place where we're going for the pancakes has a, um, Earth Fair, right, kind of like right next door. So, um, I, I very rarely go there, maybe once or twice a year. So I'm going to stop in there. It, it's like a Whole Foods kind of place, but it's smaller. So uh, I want to see if I can find anything different there. And this is my jewelry. That's not even the part of it, the big part of it. But I hang my necklaces and my earrings there. And I think it's decorative, so I like it. So anyway, I'm going to get ready and go and meet the family, and I'll be back later to wrap things up. All right, I just came out of Flash Foods. I spent $7 and some cents on food, and this is all that I got, lots and lots of food. Okay, well, I just got, came out of Flash Food, and I picked up quite a bit of produce. Since I'm going to go see my mom, I want to see if she wants any, because she loves fruit. So I'll share that with her. But I was delighted that there were a lot of grapes uh, on the bottom of, uh, of that. And I bought, up an, I bought another pack of strawberries because um, I figured if I want to make a strawberry pie, I'm going to need to crush some up for a, um, like a sauce over it. So, lots of traffic going by here at a very slow pace. <laughs> anyway, I figured I would um, pick up some more strawberries. So, and they are actually really nice. I'm surprised. Some of the fruit is like not quite ready for prime time, but um, there's a lot of pears and apples in there, and I thought I could um, cook those down and make like a, a freezer jam or something out of them, like a chia chia jam. So that's kind of the plan. And I know I said I wasn't going to go shopping. Till the beginning of the month, but that whole box was uh, three dollars. I mean, the the stuff I bought was really, really cheap. So, and I want to start eating more salads now that the weather's getting a little warmer. I'm not a big salad fan in the um, in the winter time. I'm more into soups, 
but in the summer I like salads and I'd like to lose a couple pounds. So that'll assist in that process. So now I'm off to the pancake house to have breakfast for my mom's birthday. And then she can pick out some fruit if she wants to. So, um, and then I'll come home for a while and then uh, I'll go have some dinner with my daughter and my mom. These roads are really bumpy. Lots of road work always going on in Ohio. If you go anywhere in Ohio, it's the land of orange, orange barrels. Oh, oh, squirrel. Poor little thing just made it across. Anyway, um, I try to avoid them whenever possible because they're not, not always the brightest when it comes to the street. So, okay, I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing here. And then I am going to go to Earth Fair, and that's another reason why I think I'm just going to shop a little couple days earlier than I had planned. But we'll see. I don't know. Sometimes when you're a bargain shopper like I am, you have to buy the bargains when they're available. Uh, that's the best way that I can say that I save money, is I bargain shop and I pick things up as I need to. Yeah, some days, you know, I'll, I'll spend when I hadn't planned to, but um, I haven't bought a flash food box in quite a while, actually. So, but they had things that I could use, so um, that's how I save a, a lot of money. I rarely, you know, pay high prices for some foods. I mean, the foods that I always eat, those I'll pay full price for. But if I see that, you know, they're on sale, I'll stock up. So, okay, um, I'll be back later, and we'll see how the day goes. Okay, here's the birthday girl. <laughs> Say hi, birthday girl. Say hi. And this is my daughter-in-law. <laughs> and my son. And this is little Clara. <laughs> so we're here at the original pancake house, and we're going to have pancakes and a birthday celebration. There she is. Okay, so I just got home, and I got all this food from Flash Foods, and the fruit box was only three dollars this time because some of the fruit is like not looking real great but still edible and I gave my son some of it and I gave my mom some of it so um, this is what I had left and all together for everything <clears throat> I spent seven dollars so this was 79 cents. This was a dollar. And these mushrooms were 79 cents. And I had two of these, and my mom wanted one, so I gave her one. And in the flash food uh, box, there, there were all these grapes. I mean, there must be four pounds in there. So I was happy about that. I need to clean those up and take them off their stems. So um, here's a papaya, some apples. I gave my son a lemon and a, and a lime. I think this is a blood orange. Looks like it is. Um, he took some pears. And then on top of that, for I think it was a dollar, I got a three pound bag of mandarin oranges, which I don't have out here. So for $7, I have enough food here to last me 
at least two weeks, if not longer. So that was a good buy. And there's really not a whole lot that I need yet, so I have to check and see if there's anything. And for that, I'll just wait until um, the beginning of the month. So anyway, that was my flash food haul. We had a great time at the restaurant. They were extremely slow. I think they were short-staffed like everybody else. But um, it was a nice time. So my mom had a good time, and now we'll have dinner at my daughter's later on this afternoon. And so we have her fed for the day, and I think she'll like that. Okay, well, that's pretty much how the day went for me today. It was a lot of fun. Um, my mom liked it. My kids liked it. I don't know what my oldest son is doing with her, but um, we're kind of all doing something a little separate. And, of course, I'm joining in because I'm the mom. <laughs> so this year, usually I'll have something over here for the family when there's a birthday, or my daughter will have something. My son sometimes has something, too. But um, this year I said, I cannot do it. My house is trashed. I have too much gardening stuff sitting all around, and um, I don't feel like cleaning it all up, and then having to bring it all out again. So this year we did something a little bit different. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.